Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. So, it is night now. Um, I was trying to film this video during the day, but the sun was just too bright and it was messing up the camera. You really couldn't see the plants. But today is going to be where I show you around my living room. So kind of like a, an updated fall living room tour. Um, the last one I did I think was be the beginning of summer or even before summer. Um, I will link that above so you guys can take a look at that if you're interested. But um, I'm going to show you my living room. My dining room is a disaster right now because I have been battling spider mites like you would not believe. I do not know what it is. I will um, get them off of one alocasia and then the next thing you know they're on another alocasia. So I don't know how to get rid of these things. I don't know how to stop them from um, attacking my plants because they did attack my alocasia lowrider and it did get a lot of yellow leaves and I had to remove a lot of them but it is doing better now. It's growing some new leaves, but I just can't seem to get rid of these spider mites. I did buy a new humidifier. It just came from Amazon. So I'm gonna set that up, hopefully with um, two humidifiers going, they will kind of stay away from my plants. But I don't know about that, but we are going to get into um, my living room tour. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you all the plants that I have in my living room. I don't have too many plants in there just because we live in that area. So I try to keep the plants in that area to a minimum. But um, I do have a new cactus corner so I want to show you guys that. And so let's turn the camera around and... Okay, so we're going to start right here. Um, this is my front door so right when you come in my house there is a bench here and it just has a golden pothos that I got for Mother's Day sitting here and then I have an arrowhead and another one I have a pink one here and another pink little one here I just keep them there they do get um, sun from that window there it's a west facing window and then here is my Monstera adansonii. This is my problem plant. It's still alive. Um, it does have new leaves unfurling and growing. So I just leave it here. I leave it alone. Um, it has yellowing on the leaves. It doesn't have mealybugs anymore. So I'm happy for that. But that is where that one sits. And then down here I just have a ZZ plant that I got on clearance at Lowe's. And then next to that I have my Domino um, Peace Lily that I got. I think it was Steve's Leaves. Oh, no, it was Hertz. I got this at Hertz and it's doing pretty good. Um, it is blooming down there for me. It blooms all the time. I absolutely love this Peace Lily. It's so easy to take care of. And then here is my Hoya that I rescued from Walmart. And it is doing awesome. And these plants do get a lot of sunlight from the south facing window. So um, that Hoya gets a lot of sunlight every day. This, it gets probably, I'd say about five hours of sunlight every day. So. That plant is doing awesome. And then up here I have my Ripsalis. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. I picked it up at Lowe's um, a while ago. And I just think it's so cool because it grows these little, like these little, it looks like a hand. Um, but this plant is doing awesome. And then I have my, um, Cardi Lanny Road. It is um, an arrowhead and this is the one that I got from Steve's Leaves and it has the red underside and then the green on the top and I have it um, staked up here because it was starting to flop over. It um, It's doing pretty good. It did get a little sun damage um, there but I moved it 
further away from the window and it's doing better. And then I have um, a small Hoya here and this one's doing awesome. All these leaves are new and it really likes this um, spot in my home. And then back here I have my confetti arrowhead and this one's doing pretty well. It is unfurling a new leaf back there and then it has another one. I'm sure you can see it has this little one coming out too. So that plant is awesome. I absolutely love it. And we got that little mushroom when we went to San Diego. It's some kind of, I don't know, they just said that um, somebody local in California makes so, so me and my daughter got one. And then I have a succulent here. It was getting sun damage in my south facing window, so I moved it to the west facing window. And I have a Ripsalis. This is one that I just picked up recently, but it is doing awesome. And then I have a watch chain back there. And then I have my beautiful variegated Syngonium. And this plant is doing awesome. It grows um, new leaves all the time for me. And the leaves are just beautiful. So one of my favorite plants. And then that is a west facing window. So all these plants do get um, light from that window. And then on this side I have this um, pothos, I think it's a satin, silver satin, or I'm not sure. I think somebody told me that they were, I mixed two um, different plants. I got them at Lowe's in the little tiny um, four inch pots. I think they were like three bucks each and I stuck them in this pot and they have been growing like crazy. There's a new, new leaf unfurling there. This plant is so beautiful. I love it and I love that it sits right here next to my TV. And then back there I have a sad peperomia. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that plant. I've moved it multiple times. I thought it needed more sun so I put it by the west facing window but it just seems not to be happy wherever it is. So I'll keep moving it around, but I'm leaving it there for right now. And then this is my um, modeled arrowhead. Um, I got this a while ago and it has only put off one new leaf. One died and then this one is like newer and now it is putting off a new leaf here if you can see that. And then back there is my one and only spider plant. It is super small, but it's doing pretty good, so I'm happy with that one. And then over here I have a Aglonema. It's the Red Siam, I think it's called, and it loves this spot. So I moved it here probably, it's been about maybe a month, month and a half. And it has all this new growth and it has more over there. I think it really loves being um, with these two other plants. I really think that it likes um, maybe the humidity or maybe they're just friends. I don't know. But this is my Marble Queen Pothos in my cute little owl planter. And this one is loving this spot as well. They do get a lot of sunlight here and they seem to really like that. And then there is my Philodendron Brazil. And this one is so awesome. It does grow new leaves for me all the time. And it has grown a lot since I've had it. I really do love that plant. And then down here on this shelf, I have another arrowhead. It is the, I think it's called Maria. Um, the leaves are like a red color. That one's green with red in it. And it was not liking the spot that I had it in, so I moved it over here probably a few weeks ago and it started popping out new leaves. The leaves are green, so I don't know if they turn red, but I'm okay with it, it at least it's alive. And then here I have a Earth Star, I think it's called. Um, there was a pink one with it when I got this plant and the pink one died. 
Um, I think it's some sort of bromeliad. I do water it from the center and it's doing pretty good. I just leave it there, water it from the center and it it's growing, it's not dead, so. And then down here I do have another arrowhead. They seem to grow really well in my house. Uh, it's one of my favorite plants. So I keep um, a lot of them around. And then down there at the bottom, if you can see that, is just a Sansevieria Samurai. And it does get light from the south facing window. So that is that little shelf there. And then over here is my cactus corner. So this is pretty new. I've had it here for, I'm gonna say about three months. And I will start up here. So one of my favorites, my white ghost euphorbia that I got for Mother's Day last, no, it was this year. I got it for Mother's Day this year. And when I put it next to this rack, um, it was up to, it wasn't even up to this part yet. And um, you can see how much it has grown and it's getting um, a new little arm right here. So I'm super excited for that. I love that plant. And there is my AMAC Euphorbia, one of them. I got two of them in the pot and I split them up. And then here is another white ghost euphorbia that I bought. Um, I couldn't pass it up, so I got that one for Mother's Day. And then I bought that one on my own. And then this is my other AMAC euphorbia that came in the um, pot with that one. And here is my um, twisted cactus next to my favorite blue cactus. I love that cactus. That is one of my favorite cactus. I searched th for that forever and when I found it I was super excited. And then over here is one of the first cacti that I ever purchased. So I've had this for quite a while and it's growing really wonky. I think that it doesn't get as much sun as it needs over here but I did try to put it in super bright sunlight in my south facing window in my dining room area. And I think it got some sunburn on it. Um, so I just moved it back over here. And as well as this one, it has, it's growing this really super long paddle, um, which I'm sure has something to do with lack of sun but I just keep it over here for now. And then down here I just have um, a Ripsalis. And then my Mexican fence post cactus. And then I have this cactus, I'm not sure what kind it is. I got it at a cactus nursery here um, for super cheap. I think it was like $2.99. This one I got at the plant swap. This one is the one that grows the, um, that blooms the Lifesaver blooms. And then these two I just got um, from the succulent box. I did a video on that. Um, another one that I got at the Cactus Nursery. And then this one I got at Home Depot or Lowe's a long time ago. So this is a blue cactus that I got when I couldn't find um, the big one. And I found the small one at Home Depot so I grabbed it and I've had it for a while. Another cactus that I got at the Cactus um, Nursery. And I also got that one at the Cactus Nursery. I love this one. It has like such cool colors. It's like a teal color with like purple, like maroon spikes. And then this one is my pickle plant that I got at Desert Horizons Nursery. I did a shop with me. If you guys missed that, I will link it. 
And then this is my watch chain. It's a super thick watch chain, so I picked that one up because the ones that I have are really um, thin. And here is another White Ghost Euphorbia. And then my zigzag cactus that I got not too long ago from Lowe's. So that is my cactus corner. And I just love it. I want to put some kind of brick or something just to make it look more deserty maybe. But for right now, this is how I have it. And then I have a few plants here in the window. So this one is my watch chain and I've had this one for a very long time. It's growing super weird. It's not growing straight up anymore and it looks kind of dried out. Um, so I don't know if it's just getting old. I'm not sure what's going on with it. This is my bear paw. This plant blooms all the time. One of my favorite plants or succulents I should say. And then here is a string of um, pearls that I found at it was a plant show that I went to. There is my Ripsalis, the beer bottle one, the drunk, um, drunkard's dream. And there is my, I think it's a jade. It, it has um, the pink variegation on it. I've had that one for a long time as well and it, it does awesome here in the window. Here is my corn cob cactus. This one grow, has grown a lot of little arms. And I have another cactus. My sister actually picked this one out at Ikea. And so I've had it for a while because I haven't been to Ikea for a long time. So I've had that one for a long time. Here's my domino cactus. This one just bloomed. I will insert a picture of the bloom, um, but it is dying off. I don't like to pull them off until they're totally dried up and then they just kind of fall off, but I just leave it until it dries up. But there is another one blooming. This cactus blooms for me all the time, like at least a couple of times a month. Another cactus I have here, this one has little pink flowers around it, like a, um, a crown, but it usually happens when it cools off here, and today it was like 80 degrees, so it's not cooling off here anytime soon. Another domino cactus. This one has never bloomed for me. Um, I'm thinking I should put it in a bigger pot. Um, there is a succulent. I think it's a string of buttons. I'm not sure. And then here is a Haworthia um, that I picked up at Lowe's a while ago. I think I did a repotting video on this one. And here's another little succulent. I've had for a long time. And then the last little plant that I have here is this succulent that I've also had for a long time. So those are all the plants that I have in my window. I'm thinking of moving this light because I notice um, in the day that it blocks a lot of the sun um, that shines onto these plants. So I don't know where else I would move it because it's like the only light we have here in this living room, but so that is my living room, you guys. There is two little marks from Christmas. I put those command strips on the wall and my, tr my husband was trying to help me um, take them off the wall and you know how that goes. So um, I'm going to have to patch that up. It was since last Christmas, but um, I'll, I'll find time sometime to patch that up. But anyway, um, these are all my plants and I just love this little area. I love sitting on the couch and looking at all these plants, it's such a cozy little area. Okay, everybody. So those were all the plants that I have in my living room. Give this video a thumbs up if you like plant tours. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more plant videos. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. 
And until next time, guys, bye.